Hey guys, and thanks so much for joining me on my channel today. My name is Stephanie. If you're new here, welcome, and if you're not, welcome back. I've got three very different but very delicious chicken dishes to share with you guys. We loved all three of them, and I feel like you guys will too, and I'm going to go ahead and show you how I made them. Alright, so the first thing we're starting with today is going to be chicken alfredo, but it's crispy chicken alfredo. This was actually Josh's idea and it was an awesome one. So to my alfredo, I usually do add spinach, onion, and pepper. That's just my way of getting in as much veggies as I can. But obviously, if you guys don't like this stuff or you want to add more veggies, go ahead. I've just gone ahead and seasoned this up with some Italian seasoning just to get things started. And of course, I added in my um, garlic salt, or not my garlic salt, my onion salt from Trader Joe's. It is the best. I love that seasoning. Then I'm adding in just a little bit of chicken stock or broth just to get these uh, going and get them softened up. And then once those have been going for a little bit, I chopped up some garlic, so I went ahead and threw that in there as well. I usually save my garlic for last all the time, just so that it doesn't burn, but also so that that flavor can be really like strong in there because we love, love, love garlic. So now I'm just adding a little bit more uh, stock. I probably used, let's say, like half a cup in all. And that was just to, like I said, just like move on the onion and the pepper and the garlic and just get everybody going. I've got some crispy chicken strips um, getting ready to go in the oven. And I got my water boiling for my pasta. So that's where I was at that moment in time. And I went ahead and added in my Prego Alfredo sauce. I know that you can make your own Alfredo sauce. And I know that it's pretty easy. My only thing is that it never heats up well like at all and since I'm cooking for Josh and I and sometimes we'll have people over a lot of times but when it's just the two of us we're always going to be taking the like leftovers for lunch tomorrow or the next day so I just use the Prego Alfredo because it warms up super easily and it's not like greasy and gross when I warm it up so I just kept letting my sauce cook down and I had my chicken in the oven then in the last five minutes I added my breadsticks I'm gonna go ahead and add my drained pasta to this. I'm gonna add a little bit of cream, just like a splash, and then some Parmesan cheese, just to give it that extra like kiss of delicious. And I'm gonna plate it up for you guys. All right, guys, take a look at that plate. This was so fabulous. Ugh, it was so delicious. We loved it. Those breadsticks were also rocking. I just don't remember what the brand was. Otherwise, I would tell you guys, so I'm sorry about that. <laughs> but this was very, very good. I don't love chicken out of the freezer like this, um, but this was pretty good. It was Purdue, um, and it was uh, the chicken selects or something, and that was pretty good, but the pasta was fabulous, super on point. You know I love pasta. But yeah, super delicious, super quick, and super easy. All right, next up is gonna be a chicken stir fry. This was super quick as all stir fries are and it's just an excuse to use up all the veggies in your veggie drawer that are gonna go bad. So usually when I make like Asian dishes, I pretty lightly season them, um, for me anyway, <laughs> because I'm gonna go ahead and put, you know, soy sauce and teriyaki and stuff like that in there. So um, I just put some onion salt and then salt and pepper in there. And then once that chicken was all browned up, I added in some onions and some peppers so just about like um, a half a cup of each, I would say. Maybe a little bit more. It just depends on what you have on hand. It was never made worse with more veggies. So you just put whatever you have on hand. So I went ahead and cooked that down just a little bit, the onions and peppers, until they were cooked, but not like too cooked. So then I added in my uh, garlic after that. I gave it a good stir and let that go for a little bit and then I started adding in the rest of my veggies which was just um, some zucchini. I like zucchini to still have a little bit of bite to it so I put that in last along with some green onion which really does give this like an extra pop of like delicious flavor but again you can put whatever veggies you guys want in here. So for me, what I'm doing is kind of making the sauce just like by eyeing it. I ended up probably putting in like three tablespoons of soy sauce and three tablespoons of teriyaki and that was like perfect for us. All right, so this is what it looks like all plated up. I added a little bit of um, sesame seeds and some extra fresh green onion for flavor and presentation. This was so amazing and so delicious. Oh my gosh, fabulous. And you feel good when you're eating it too. I just served this over some brown rice that was um, frozen. It's a Trader Joe's frozen brown rice. This brown rice is amazing. It literally tastes like white rice, but it's so much better for you. So that's definitely a win. But yeah, that was dinner this night. Hey guys, 
last but certainly not least was this French onion chicken. I just used some French onion soup from Campbell's and then also some cream of celery. I threw in a little bit of caramelized onion seasoning. I got this from Sam's and it's amazing. I'm also going to throw in a pack of French onion like soup mix or dip mix. It doesn't really matter. It was delicious because <laughs> I didn't have the soup mix but I just used the dip and it was great. So I stirred this all about and I dropped four chicken breasts in there. You could definitely have fit like six if you have a larger family and there was definitely enough sauce to accommodate that. But yeah, I just uh, popped the chicken in here and put it on high for four hours and I shredded it up and it was done. All I had to do, I added in a little bit of spinach and I served it over some egg noodles. Just so delicious and flavorful, you guys. Look at it, oh my gosh, it was so good. It just like chunked up and shredded up beautifully and just, oh, it was so like flavorful and to die for really, you guys. This was my favorite, I believe, for the week. I just wanted to get a little bit of green in there and just, you know, again, wherever you can shove some vegetables in, just go ahead and do that. This was like on the tail end of my grocery shopping, so I didn't have like any onion to put in there or anything. So spinach was all I had left, and so spinach it was, and so I just threw that in there. But you can put like anything else, broccoli, asparagus, whatever you have. And so I just um, stirred that up and covered it and waited for my egg noodles to be done, and I'll show you what it looks like all plated up. Alright guys, and here it is all plated up. This is Josh's plate, so I went ahead and added a little shake of red pepper flakes on top of that, and he loves that. So, um, it also doesn't do too bad as far as presentation. It looks really pretty. But yeah, this was so delicious. It was everything a crock pot meal is meant to be. It's like comforting and super easy and super like yeah it was just so good <laughs> i feel like i say delicious like 30 times during my videos but the food is so good so i don't know what else to say all right guys that's gonna do it for me this week thank you so much for watching i hope you guys had some delicious dinner inspiration from this video if you did go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more i hope everybody has a blessed and awesome week and i'll talk to you guys later bye